Welcome to the Tech Mind Factory video blog. I'm super excited that you visited my channel. I hope you will find this video helpful and interesting. If so, please subscribe at the end because this will be the sign for me to produce more videos. And now, enjoy watching. In this video, I would like to present how to build document analyzer with Azure Functions, Logic Apps, Form Recognizer and Azure Cosmos DB. Source code for this sample is available on my GitHub and you can find it under the link above on this slide. Ok, so I would like to present the solution uh, I created, it's called Document Analyzer. First of all, let me introduce the cognitive service I used, provided by Microsoft Azure Cloud, it's called Azure Form Recognizer. It's a cognitive service that uses machine learning technology to identify and extract text, key value pairs and table data from the form documents. So as you can see on this slide, now if I have a document with some specific structure like, I don't know, table, uh, I can extract uh, specific uh, data from specific uh, parts of the documents. And at the end, I can of course process this data and insert this data uh, in, uh, in some database, for instance. And we will do exactly uh, this case today in this video. Form Recognizer uh, has some capabilities I would like to um, discuss briefly before we jump into the demo. So first of all, with Form Recognizer we can uh, build custom models. So using labeling tool, which I will show in this video, uh, with this tool we can um, mark some specific parts of the document and train the model. So at the end, if uh, we upload some document to the Form Recognizer, it will be able to extract the data from this specific parts of the document. So this is um, a great uh, functionality if you have some different types of the documents and you would like to extract the data from them. The second capability of Form Recognizer is Prebuilt Receipt Model and this functionality works only with receipts in the United States currently at the moment of recording this video. And with this functionality we can extract the data from the receipts. And the last one, Layout API, so this capability uh, enables you to extract uh, text data and table data from, from the forms together with bounding box uh, coordinates. So this can be also interesting for some of you. But today I would like to present solution where I used Form Recognizer to extract data related with invoices. So let's discuss briefly the solution architecture. So I have a Logic app uh, connected with my Gmail account and once the new message is received with uh, attached invoice, Logic App is triggered and then what, I'm, what, what I will do, uh, I will uh, get the attachment, I will save this attachment on the Azure Blob Storage and call the Azure function and this Azure function will get this document, upload this document to the form recognizer and after a few seconds, I will get the result from the form recognizer in the Azure function and at the end I can insert this analysis data in the Azure Cosmos DB. Ok, great. So let's see how to do it. As you can see currently on the screen, this is the invoice. What I would like to achieve, I would like to get the data from this invoice and insert this data in the Azure Cosmos DB. And this is something what we will do in this video. Let me start with the demo because I think this will be the most uh, interesting for you. So this is my mailbox and from this mailbox I will send new email with the invoice attached to my Gmail mailbox. So I will click new message. I will select my email. So Gmail in this case. I will add topic, so new invoice and then I will attach the new invoice and I will attach invoice number 7 and then I will click send. After a few seconds I should receive the email. This is the new email with the invoice attached. And right now what's happening, Azure Logic App is triggered, then this document is downloaded to the Azure Storage account and Azure function is called. And this Azure function will call form recognizer model 
to extract the data from this invoice. And at the end, this data will be inserted to the Azure Cosmos DB. So let's see Azure Cosmos DB data. Here I have Azure Cosmos DB Data Explorer open. As you can see, there is invoice data container and inside this container, I have invoice data. So when I open one of the items, you can see that I have charges property for company, from company, invoice date, invoice number, var ID, all different properties related with the invoice. So what happened? The invoice attached to the email was processed by the form recognizer and at the end, this data was inserted in the Azure Cosmos DB. So as you can see, I have this nice JSON structure and I can use this data in the further processing. Okay, so let's see how this solution was built. First of all, we have to train for recognizer model and to be more precise, we have to indicate which fields are crucial for us to extract the data from and insert this data at the end to the Azure Cosmos DB. So as you can see, this is the invoice form I showed you before. And here I have some different parts. So invoice from company, invoice for company, invoice number, invoice date, invoice due date, charges, and VAT ID. And for each part in the document, I created a specific tag. So I have tag called from company, for company, invoice number, invoice date, invoice due date, charges, and VAT ID. And as you can see, those tags are related with those different parts of the document. So for instance, invoice number is tagged in this part of the document. And at the end, what is important to mention, Form Recognizer model will be trained and will try to find data in this specific parts of the document. I encourage you to check official documentation for the Form Recognizer and section called train a form recognizer model with labels using the sample labeling tool. You will find details about configuration of the labeling tool. It's also worth to mention some important details. You have to provide at least five documents for model training. So as you can see on the left side, I provided five different invoices and I, I applied tagging for those invoices. So each invoice, if I preview them, each invoice has those tags applied. As you can see, invoice number, invoice date, is uh, it's tagged with the tags I created on the right side. And once uh, this uh, tagging is applied, we can train the model. So I can click train, and here I have the button called train. Let's click it and see what happened. As you can see, there is label displayed training in progress and after a few seconds, I have training result. Together with model ID, we will use in the Azure function to communicate with uh, Azure form recognizer. But let me uh, discuss briefly what's happening here. On the left side, we have tag lists. So the tags we created and applied on the document. And on the right side, we have estimated, estimated accuracy. So this will tell you uh, what was the accuracy of detected uh, tags in the documents for a specific parts. As you can see here, the accuracy is 100%, but please note that for more advanced and complicated documents with the complicated structure, this accuracy can be lower. Okay, so right now let's move to the Azure portal and see what's happening there. This is the Azure portal and resource group together with all resources I created required for this solution. As you can see, there is Azure Storage account to store all the invoices, documents. There is also Logic App that I created to communicate with the Gmail mailbox to detect emails with invoices attached. There is also Function App, and this Function App is responsible for communication with Azure Form Recognizer. And also this Function App is responsible for inserting data in the Azure Cosmos DB. Below there is Azure Form Recognizer resource created and Azure Cosmos DB. Okay, so let's start from uh, Azure Logic App and discuss what's happening there.
so I will click edit button. Let's discuss step by step what's happening here. So I have action when a new email arrives and this logic app will be triggered every time uh, when there is a new email received but with attachment. So every time I receive email with invoice attached on my mailbox, uh, this logic app will be triggered. And there is also an option called how often do you want to check for items. So here I will check every three minutes. So once this logic app is triggered and there is new email with attachment, uh, so the invoice is received, what I will do, I will iterate through the attachments. So for, the, for each attachment, what I will do, I will create a blob storage. So in other words, I will store this invoice on the Azure storage account. As you can see, the folder path is set to invoices. The blob name will be the name of the attached invoice. And the blob content, of course, will be the content of the attached invoice. And once the, the file is stored on the Azure storage account, what I'm doing here, as you can see, there is another step, create SAS URI by path. So what I'm doing here, I'm creating URI together with shared access signature, because after this step, I will pass this URI together with SAS token to the Azure function. So below, I have called to my Azure function called form recognizer skill. And as you can see in the request body, the web URL is attached. So the URL to the invoice stored, stored on the Azure storage account. And it's important to mention that this shared access signature has to be attached to the URI of the document because by default, the access to my blob storage is private. So there is no external world access. So I have to provide this shared access signature. Okay. So now it's a good idea to see what's happening in the source code for this function app. This is the Azure function project open in a Visual Studio 2019. Before I jump in, please note that this source code is available on my GitHub in the Azure AI repository. Okay. So let me start with the trigger. So this function app is built with the HTTP trigger. So once HTTP request uh, is received, then it will process this request. So what I'm doing here, first of all, I have to deserialize this request to get information about URI together with SAS token that was provided by the logic app. Once I have this information, I can call process invoices records async method on the document processing service instance. So let me open the definition of this method. And as you can see, inside this uh, method, I'm processing every request. And the crucial pi part is related with process invoice record method. So I will open this. And what's happening here? As you can see, first of all, I have to extract from URL. So the uh, URL to the documents, to the invoice, stored on the Azure storage account. Once this form URL is extracted, I can call process invoice document content. And if I open this method here, first of all, this document will be downloaded by the function app. And once I have this document downloaded, I can pass this document to the form recognizer. So here I'm using form recognizer service instance and analyze form async method. So there are two steps. First, I have to pass the document for the analysis to the form recognizer. And this analysis can take a few seconds or minutes. It depends on the document structure. And once I have result, I have response in the response I will not have direct information about the analysis result, but there will be analysis uh, result ID. And with this identifier of the analysis result, I have to call get form analysis result async method. And this uh, method, let me jump to this method right now. As you can see in this method, there is HTTP call to uh, get the result of the analysis. 
And once I receive the analysis response, I can process it. So let me open the class responsible for the response. As you can see here, I have some metadata like status, created date time, etc. But the most important part is here. So this property, analyze result. And this is the class that contains some properties. I will not discuss all of them, but the crucial part is uh, related with uh, document results here. So if I go to this class, you will see that there is document result. There is also property doc type, page range and fields. And inside fields, I have all the fields that I specified in the labeling tool. So charges for company, from company, invoice date, invoice due date, invoice number and var ID. So all those fields will be returned in the analysis result from the form recognizer. So that's why I, I can easily then process them and insert in the Azure Cosmos DB. So as you can see at the end, I will have JSON and I can deserialize this JSON and get specific fields uh, from the analysis result. Okay, so let me uh, get back here uh, to the form recognizer skill and then I will jump to the process invoices async method. And if I scroll down here, once the uh, document is processed by form recognizer and I have result, what I can do, I can invoke add async method on data service. So let me jump into this method, go to implementation. And as you can see, this is um, uh, Cosmos DB data service uh, class. Uh, it's, uh, implement it's implemented for inserting data uh, to the Cosmos DB. So there is add async method. And here what I'm doing, I'm just inserting the invoice data to the Azure Cosmos DB. So if I get back here, once again, to the process invoices records uh, async method, below, there is this fragment related with inserting data. And here what I'm passing, I'm passing invoice data object. So if I go to the uh, definition, you will see that there is invoice data class. And inside this invoice data class, I have all the properties, all the fields from the invoice. So charges for company from company, all the fields that I specified. So at the end, this data is inserted in the Azure Cosmos DB. As mentioned before, I encourage you to visit my GitHub repository where all details about this sample are provided. So the solution, description of the resources, form recognizer model training together with Azure Logic App description. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to contact me either on Twitter or LinkedIn. And of course, I encourage you to visit my blog techmindfactory.com. See you in the next video.